Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather B. Denture Diva. Welcome to Vlog Mist Mixture with Denture Mist, I guess you want to call it. But today I'm going to be doing my morning routine. A lot of you guys have asked me. I know I have a lot of videos to go finding what I do, um, which I guess it's updated more since then. But for all of you that don't know me, hey, what's up? I handle dentures, health related stuff. I have a second channel inside the mind of Diva where makeup, skincare, vlogging, family stuff, everything goes on there. Um, everything will be in the description below. The hour next to the title of this video, just click on it. Everything will come down between my Instagram. Um, I have now Heather B. Denture Diva Public Figure for Facebook. I have my Denture Support Group. Everything will be linked down below. Um, so yeah. Oh, don't forget guys, I do have, it's ending Thursday the 9th, um, my Christmas decoration giveaway. Uh, you can scroll down in my videos. I'm sure you'll see your big bold letters. Um, and if you want to get in on it, get in on it. A lot of people are going to want to get in on this, but make sure you send me all of your Christmas decorations, all the pictures that you can, because the best one wins. Um, so I know some people right now just send me pictures of stockings, which if people send me more than that, that person would automatically not win. So make sure you guys send me all your Christmas decorations, your biggest everything. And the best decoration person wins. Um, I do not have to post your pictures. A lot of people are private people and they do not want their stuff out there. I know a lot of you would want to see the decorations, but if the person wins, doesn't want it, I'm not going to force it in any way because it's Christmas decorations and it won't be the end of the world if they don't want to. It's their personal life, personal pictures. Everything is private between me and them unless they say otherwise. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys my steps of what I'm doing. Changing things up. Normally I use denture fit, um, so I normally don't have to use adhesive, but I know a lot of you use adhesive, so I'm going to show you how I do adhesive when I need it and go from there. I'm going to take out my dentures and show you guys my cleaning steps. I use basically most of the Dr. B line completely. Um, this is liquid crystals. This is the only thing on the market that actually kills as much as it does between staff strep, yeast, like it kills everything. Thrush is the biggest, biggest issue with denture wearers. You guys got to understand these are, this is a device and a lot of bacteria and infections are sitting in it and in our mouth. It's like keeping your fingers in your mouth all day. So always make sure you clean it. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to rinse them off. And I'm going to a couple squirts liquid crystals. I'm gonna let it sit there. What I am gonna do is take the wipes. These are the clean and wipes. Um, it's the same thing as the cleaning up piece, but on the go wipes and you can use it in your mouth and your denture and it's minty. It's not harmful in any way. It's got, you know, good for you. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm just using on my gums. I get up in there and make sure there's no food. No matter what, guys, it's a denture. And depending on how you eat, food's going to get stuck everywhere. Um, you can either take it out every time you eat, which is a waste of adhesive and takes longer to dry. Totally messes up your schedule. You can use the wipes that can, when you're in, your dentures are in, you can just clean your denture in there and get up top and try to get all this stuff out. But you can also chew with less food in your mouth. That prevents food from getting stuck up here because it's not being forced or pushed. So go from there. I am going to bring you guys down and show you what I'm using today. So hold on. Okay, so while this is going, this is the cleaning and paste that I use twice a day. 
Um, it's got essential oils and stuff in it. It's also great for, you know, dry mouth. It's got vitamin A, D, and E, and aloe vera in it, tea tree oil, coconut oil. It's got everything in it. So, definitely my favorite product of Dr. B's. Because, I mean, instead of you using toothpaste for your gums and denture paste for your denture, it's one product you can use for your mouth and your denture. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, I know everybody liked when I did the combination of Dr. B's adhesive with the fix it in. Um, amazingly, amazingly, it held so well, I couldn't get the bad boys out. So, I'm going to show you guys how I do that today, how you put powder on paste, do not add water, and, um, how I do my Q-tip to make it an even coat. So, now when you do the Dr. B's liquid crystals, if you have a soft reline, no more than eight minutes inside of it. Um, if you have a hard reline, like it's no soft reline whatsoever, just acrylic, then you can just um, put it in for 20 minutes if you want. But you don't want it harming the um, the soft reline. Okay, so what I do is I take my dual brush and I just go over with the clean it in liquid crystal just real quick. I'm not thorough cleaning it. Because I do that with my uh, paste. Put that down. Do the same thing for my top. You want to get in all the teeth. What I do is this helps also break up the particles of food that was inside. Because man, they get in the teeth. Almost wish we can floss. It's easier to get the food out. And I'm going to rinse this. Get my cracks and crevices. All right, we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna clean that out in a little bit. Clean and paste. Nope, that's adhesive, Heather. Clean and paste. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Always gonna be bloopers. I put some. I do one at a time. I'll do my top. Please hold it carefully. I don't know why some people think you can't break your denture, but uh, yeah, you can. It's plastic. You drop it, it's gone. I posted a picture about um, when Adam broke his tooth. Uh, actually, his denture split completely in half. Um, that was because he dropped it right on his floor. So please make sure you guys are very careful. You know, it's not like a circle motion thing like you would with your real teeth, how they told you to do it. Up and down is good because it helps get inside the teeth. Um, but you can go any direction, guys. Any direction works well. You just get up in there. But make sure you're careful. You don't go against the soft reline. You go with it so you don't have any problems. You want to be gentle. And some products, guys, can ruin soft relines. So you want to be careful. Luckily, Dr. B's is not one of them. They're actually good. And don't mess up my soft reline. So, put that away. Now let's do the bottoms. Bottoms are not easy to hold when you're trying to clean them. Look at the bubbles. But always make sure you guys get in the cracks. Because it totally sucks. You get food in there all the time. You can still get tartar and plaque, guys. The only thing you don't get is cavities. But food's in there. You can get plaque, tartar, everything. So make sure you clean everything 100%. We're going to rinse that off. And then we're going to dry them thoroughly. So if you guys are doing this with me, especially if you're new people and you're beginning, because, hey, when I first started, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Because they don't tell you anything. And it stinks. Like, no dentist ever told me how to clean them, take care of them, what to use, what not to use, what's bad for them. Like, nobody says anything. They just hand them to you and say, here, bye. Um, so that's what made me want to, I learned everything as I went. I made a lot of mistakes. That's why I put the things I, you know, figured out and do all that on YouTube so you guys don't make the same mistakes. So you're prepared way more than I was. Because when I was in a dentist support group, they were just rude and nasty. They were not helpful. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to create my own dental support group on Facebook so where people cannot be judgmental or they're automatically kicked out. 
I deny a lot of people a day. Because what I do is I look on other support groups where they are and I read their comments. And if they make any nasty, rude comments, they're automatically out. But you want to make sure, guys, your denture is completely dry. Completely inside out. It has to be. If you want the adhesive to bond with it, it has to be dry. Or it's never going to be good. Because if your teeth are still wet or even damp, the paste adhesive that you're using will not stick. It will actually melt it. And you'll have a hard time with adhesive. And I know many people don't dry their denture well. Please dry them well. Because that's your main issue. And make sure when you put adhesive in, you wait the 45 minutes before you eat or drink. Just making sure they're completely dry. I do have to do the snug up application with denture fit. And the snug up application is when you already have denture fit in, um, you add extra to make the correct fit again. Because gums shrink all the time, whether you're in your permanent or not, but these are my immediates. My tops are my perms. Um, so you always want to make sure that it's a snug fit. But guys, even in your perms, your dentures are going to shrink, your gums are going to shrink. People think that your gums don't shrink anymore. Yeah, they do. And you even get bone loss, especially more if you don't wear your denture. So make sure you guys are wearing them. Wear them. Not being a pain in the butt, wear them. You put your denture, you've made it like a whole... You spend so much money on an investment of yours to do this. Why not wear them? Because you're having a hard moment in the beginning. It's hard for everybody. Trust me. Way hard. So... What I do is do the top first. Let me shut the light off see if it works better. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, take the Dr. B's adhesive. And I put it on the top. Now, it doesn't matter how you put it on the top or how much you put in. Because it's going to all um, be flattened out, lessened, and all that when you do this. I like the Q-tip. So the cotton doesn't come off. And I make a thin coat. Because I put way too much adhesive in here. Just put some on my bottom. Sorry guys, I'm adding some to my bottom at the moment. Because I put way too much adhesive in. Alright. Try to avoid the frenulum. Because you glue, glue your frenulum to your mouth, it's going to suck. Just saying. Been there all too well, guys. Too many times. So remember, thin coat. And you know, a lot of you guys do the blobs, and um, it's not spreading through your whole denture. You have a lot of gaps that are not covered with denture adhesive. So you're going to have an uneven bite. Food's going to get into the spots you don't have adhesive in. And it's not going to go well at all. So please make sure you do the evenly trick because if you're doing the blobs, you're not getting an even secure hold. And it's going to come loose very quickly if water gets in that one gap that didn't have anything. Actually, it's actually more than one gap. But all you do is just add powder on top of it. Do not add water whatsoever. Pop them in. I push it forward because what you do is you take your thumb to your palate and you push it forward into your suck zone. Because that's where it's supposed to go. So let's do the bottom. The bottom is a hot mess right now because I just clumped adhesive on for my top. I'm definitely going to have to add more. All right, adhesive. All right. So, see how people normally just do clumps like that? Yeah, and then the rest of it's bare. When you put it in your mouth, it's only squishing a little bit more out of it. It's not doing the whole entire denture. I figured this out when I was about two months in, and the blobs were not keeping the denture in at all. It kept coming undone after I ate. So I decided to smoothen it out. And it worked like a charm. And ever since then, I've been doing it. 
Then I take the powder. Like I said before, guys, you guys can save the powder. I normally don't use powder, so it would be a waste for me to even save it. Never add water when you're using paste. Only add water, and that's a spritz with a water bottle, on your denture if you're just using powder only. Only if you're using powder only. How many times have I almost dropped my bottom? Many times. So, let's bring you guys up. That's good. That is how I do my denture, and of course I got it in my friend yellow. And that is why you don't put it by your frenulum. That's going to annoy me. But that's how I clean my denture and put on adhesive. And then I'm good for the entire friggin' day. I will do the snug up application this week also too to show you guys if you already have denture fit in. Um, how you just add denture fit on top of it, which is very friggin' easy. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And if there's any other videos that you guys want to see, make sure you comment down below. Or you can private message me or email me and let me know what videos you guys want to see. But I hope you guys have a healthy, happy day today. Later.